The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and today I'm on an all new boat by Roballo. It's the R200. Let's take a look at some of the distinguishing features. The R200 has an attractive shear line that drops as you move aft, and contour lines are molded into the hull. For a boat that's affordably priced, the R200 has a lot of upscale features, starting with this stainless steel rub rail insert. The hull has two lifting strakes, leading up to a 4-inch reverse chime. The stern has an extended running surface that goes well past the transom, which should give the R200 quicker times to plane. I climb aboard from a recessed three-step reboarding ladder and step onto the aft casting deck that is covered in non-skid and runs full beam. In the center of the transom is a Yamaha 150, and there's an option for mounting a 115 or a 200 to the transom. Stepping off the casting deck, both sides have flip-ups to reveal a pair of aft jump seats, and I find these seats to be quite comfortable, especially since you can brace yourself with the leaning post just ahead. In between the two seats is a 15-gallon live well, colored blue inside, aerated, and with round edges to reduce the shock effect on your bait. The standard leaning post is brush anodized aluminum. Here we have the optional powder coated leaning post with a 72 quart cooler underneath held in position by brackets and bungee cords. And notice how you can open the cooler without having to remove it from its position. I found the side bolsters to be at a comfortable height and really appreciate the thoughtful addition of a tow rail to tuck your feet under giving you a little bit more stability when fighting the fight. Stepping behind the console, Roballo added a stainless steel frame running all the way around the windshield that also doubles as a handhold. It's very functional while still maintaining the R200's 5-foot bridge clearance. There's plenty of open real estate for moving map display and Roballo offers a Garmin 740 GPS fish finder as an option. Clutter is kept to a minimum with the Yamaha multifunction gauges off to the side and rocker switches to the outside of the panel. I'm happy with the ergonomics as there's a place to put your feet both in the console and under the seat. I found the helm seat itself to be very comfortable and notice the two-tone 29-ounce vinyl upholstery. The compass is mounted in the center in line with the helm and to either side are small recessed areas for putting stuff. Both have rubber matting and are self-draining. The Sea Star hydraulic tilt steering is optional and I wouldn't want to head offshore without it. At 22 and a half inches there's plenty of room to the side of the console for fishing and moving from bow to stern. I appreciate that there's always something to grab onto as the bow rail starts right where the windshield frame leaves off. The 9 inch non skid cap rail is wide enough to allow for boarding your R200 from the side. There's the usual seating at the front of the console and grab handles are to either side. A latch to the side allows you access to the inside of the console and if you add the optional porta potty you'll find that there's really only sitting room. There's a grab handle behind the door and a hanging rod above for life jackets or towels. Here is easy access to the electrical connections behind the panel. All wiring is neat and orderly and insulated appropriately and notice how the stainless steel drink holders have drains attached. Getting in and out of the console is easy thanks to the addition of a step just inside the entry. Fully forward are V-seats with self-draining insulated storage underneath. There's 23 inches between the seats and because the R200 carries its beam so far forward, I measured 5 feet 3 inches between the bolsters at the bow. There's a comfortable 1 foot 4 inches of height from the seats to the cap rail and there are in effect two casting decks at the bow. One on top of the non-skid seats and the second on the foredeck just above. If you have family coming aboard, they'll appreciate the bow cushions for added comfort. That's our brief look at the features of the all-new R200 Center Console from Roballo. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.